All right, Lorianne, you, you, you do this for fun. This is like your hobby. <laughs> what can you tell us? It is, it, it's a strange hobby, isn't it? But it's actually become fruitful. So anyway, labor negotiations between the union representing the port workers at the German ports and the port operators are entering a sixth round of talks next week. But an impasse has led to worker stoppages and limited worker strikes. This has greatly slowed down the flow of trade. Check out the latest supply chain heat map out of Europe, detailing what's happening at the major European ports, including Bremerhaven and Hamburg in Germany, but also Antwerp and Rotterdam in the Netherlands. Antwerp recently had a strike by unions demanding better pay, and Rotterdam has been impacted by labor slowdowns and rail problems. I've been told by Grain Worldwide Logistics it is difficult to get both imports and exports out of these hubs because of the weight. Now, the congestion is impacting empty container availability for, Europe, uh, for exports across Europe. Now, this next chart is from Freydos and from Sonar. And it's tracking container prices from Europe. Now, why are you asking? Why is Lorianne putting this up? Well, if you have constricted supply of containers, it is going to push up prices and exacerbate inflation. Now, this is impacting the delivery of auto parts, assembled cars like BMWs and Mercedes, lithium batteries for Ford, home goods like flooring, and furniture from IKEA. Now, U.S. importers have to request uh, European vessel space at least five to four weeks in advance, which is unusual. And if you can get a container, arrivals of these imports are seven to nine days late. This is creating what I have been called a domino effect of congestion spilling into other European and American ports. And even in a good scenario, Brian, the backup is going to last four months. Oh, so not much better over there. Okay, so like what is like the, you know, if I want to get a ship tomorrow, what's my reliability on getting a boat right now? It's really bad. Um, it has not really improved. I'm always coming on with bad news. Vessels are still out of sync on a global basis. Now, this is tracked by Sea Intelligence, and they are, and they are telling me it's down and remains at 30 to 40 percent of reliability. You also have continued rail issues inland in Europe. And so if you're lucky to get a container in Europe, that does not mean it's going to get on the rail, um, as, and it's also stuck in the yards.